Hey guys, this is Pat from Rain Country, and Mama Rain was asking me to build her another uh, crochet needle. This is an aluminum crochet needle, and she likes the wood ones. I think she just likes to keep me busy out in the shop. Um, she likes the feel of the wood. I made her a J hook a while back out of this uh, um, Highland mahogany. What I have here is a one by one inch block of this mahogany. Um, this is off of a dead tree and so it's got bugs in it so I'm going to see if I can't uh, turn this down and make this guy and avoid the bug holes. So I got this set up in the in the lathe here. I'm getting ready to turn it. I'll try to use this as a duplicate and try to follow it and as close we'll as I can. See if we can make her a wooden crochet needle. So I take this other crochet needle and kind of get an idea how wide this needs to be. This is where your thumb and your forefinger goes for crocheting. Yeah, don't worry guys, I don't know how to crochet. I do know how to sew though a little bit. my K hook and he did make me a couple other hooks so I'm going to show those to you and how beautiful they are. So here is the K hook and I love this one best for the size of this 
uh, where you put your thumb and your forefinger and you can see he's got the emblem burned in there, our little logo, the RCH with the trees. And then the size over here. It's really a great hook and I'm currently working on this scarf made from of that, some of that Red Heart uh, homespun yarn. And this stuff, if you've ever worked with it, it tends to get hung up a lot in the hooks. And this hook is just so smooth. And I mean, the, all of these hooks are just like butter and I absolutely love them. And then I'll show you these other two over here. Um, he, this is the G hook and then this is the first one he made the J hook which in this one even though it's not as wide um, he designed this just after your standard aluminum hook where in he just put a little bit of flare at the bottom um, but this one even though it's not as wide as these other ones I'm used to this feel because I've, I've used those aluminum or bamboo hooks for so long that that's what I'm used to but now this size little thing here, this is the G, it, I'm, I'm spoiled. <laughs> and then I love what he's doing to the base of the handle right here. And he is considering selling these in sets of three for those who are interested, for those you know, who are seriously interested. It does take, even for something this size, it takes a considerable amount of work to put into it. You know, there's you know, about three hours worth of work in each one of these uh, hooks. But uh, if you're interested in ordering some, um, just send us an email to raincountryhomestead at gmail.com and uh, we'll let you know on the pricing and all that. So I want to show you how well this works considering this type of yarn and how it's not the most fluid to work with. It just, uh, it works great. It's, I'm loving this so much. So considering it's wood, you'd think it wouldn't slide as well the yarn but no this is just very very smooth unlike the bamboo hooks when I first get the bamboo hooks they're not parts of them are smooth but parts of them are um, real jagged and I end up having to file them down sand them a bit to get them so that they're not hanging up on my yarn um, when I first start using it but uh, but yeah even in this yarn this stuff just it just works great. And then, and then if I'm just gonna use a just a basic yarn, um, I don't have anything started in this, so all I can really show is a chain stitch. You know, it just really flows. I can imagine what it would feel like with wool or something, which I do have a little bit of that, but anyway. So, so there you have it. Another one of Mr. Rain's beautiful creations. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Take care.